10 best productivity apps for your iPhone. Hey guys, I'm back and I've got something that's really going to help you out. I have an iPhone. It's right here right now. And I'm using it actually as a timer, but I've got an iPhone here and I try to stay more productive and I've come across 10 apps that you must, you 100% must have. Uh, the last one is going to kind of surprise you, but uh, stick with me. I'm going to go through each one of these apps, tell you what to do. That's what you're going to get in this video. Let's get going. Hey, before we get going, have you subscribed? If you haven't done so hit that subscribe button down there, turn it from red to gray and a bell is going to appear. You want to ring the bell by turning on all notifications so you're notified every time i upload a video or i go live and if you like this video please give me a thumbs up i would really appreciate it okay let's get to the first one the first one is called any do let me show you a screenshot of it there's any do right there kind of a cool app um, you know you often will forget your daily tasks and chores i mean i know i do if i don't have something like this um, but this helps you keep your schedule on track with a to-do list it's got reminders notes uh, and it also has the ability to share lists with and assign tasks to others one of the best productivity apps any do lets you sync between phone desktop web tablet keep all your lists up to the minute perfectly ready to go uh, it also has a voice entry feature that lets you add items to your task list just by talking to it i hate i hate to type i hate typing i'm not going to type it uh, it also has a calendar integration that's available for better task list management Further enhance your productivity with cross-platform support for subtasks, notes, file attachments. Uh, it's good for iOS 14 users. Okay. So you do have to have that. Uh, it's got a free version or it's got a premium version with advanced features for $9.99 a month. Okay. That was pretty cool stuff, but wait, we've got more. Let's move on to the next one right now. The next one is called flow. Now flow is pretty cheap. Flow is two bucks a month, $1.99. Uh, but it comes to jotting down ideas. You, you can go with the built-in note-taking app that's already on your phone, but anyone with an iOS device can turn to flow by Moleskin, which is not only captured an Apple design award last year, but also took home Apple's honors for the best iPad app of the year. Users can actually draw or take notes with an infinite width canvas that lets you customize everything from your writing tools, virtual pens, pencils, markers, all that stuff okay flow provides a luxurious drawing experience that fully supports iphone and ipad um, the app is actually available for a seven day trial but then it's going to go to 199 a month really cool app i think you should check it out i think you'll like it let's get on to the next one the next one is called to-do list guess what it does you're right it's a to-do list let's go check it out real quick uh, it is free it's a multi-platform planner app that keeps things efficient with clean gimmick free approach to interface and task management okay it also has a powerful natural language engine that can easily transform a jotted down thought into one-off or recurring tasks color-coded priority levels shared projects and productivity graphs that record your progress to-do list is a handy companion for getting things done more advanced users will appreciate the powerful integration with things like i have this dropbox ifttt if this then that and slack updates have added features like sections for organizing all of your projects and to do's and groups and quick add to speedily add your items to the list um, a recent update they just did uh, um, actually brought the upcoming view which which makes it easier to visualize your task once you've scheduled for the future while its ios version is great for swiping week by week it looks great on desktop where you have more space to see your task day by day weeks in the future now this app is free forever though premium subscriptions unlock additional features for 3.99 a month now here's one that we're familiar with on our desktops and maybe even our laptops but our phone yes our phone it is word excel and powerpoint let me show you this app really cool stuff okay so here it is we're looking at a screenshot of it now uh, it is an office suite of programs um, that has really been the gold standard for desktop productivity forever uh, the mobile versions of word excel and powerpoint continue that tradition designed to provide maximum file capacity and capability with their desktop versions while modifying the interface for touchscreen devices really cool stuff it's got cloud support for services such as onedrive drive dropbox that's really made for easy sharing collaboration uh, while their free tier is okay for basic viewing and editing you'll get the most out of the apps with an office 365 subscription that's what i have i have that um, 
if you just as soon combine all those individual apps into one Microsoft just released a new mobile version of office for Android and iOS that features Word Excel and PowerPoint while making the productivity suite more mobile friendly pretty cool stuff now let's look at the next one which is number five and, and it's called drafts five let's check it out okay so here's drafts five I really like the way this is organized I think it's really simple to see uh, it has like a tortoise that makes mean note-taking and quick fire writing app with aptly named drafts now in its fifth iteration okay fire drafts up and the app throws you a quick blank page with a keyboard at the ready new entries and notes get placed into an inbox so you can tag and sort them later uh, alternatively if you want you can use any of the dozens of useful quick actions and app integrations to turn your jotted down text notes into documents tweets social media notes emails or messages while inbox notes can be tagged for sorting flagged for importance uh, or even archived if you want the tax editor itself is highly customizable allowing you to tweak everything from spacing to line heights and margins now the premium for this one is two dollars and 99 cents which is certainly an economical price to pay for an app this powerful the next one up is called one password that's number six one password um, i don't know about you but at one point i was actually trying to memorize all my passwords and keep them in my head um, and I, I would forget them and I would ask my wife because she works in some of the same programs I do I would say hey what's the password for this what's the password for this and she would just pull up this app and she would know all the passwords uh, and she was like you ought to get this app you ought to get this app uh, and it took me actually probably a year or two to finally do it because I'm so glad I did do it though because now I literally have hundreds and hundreds of logins in different places so let's look at one password real quick uh, here it is what it looks like a little screenshot uh, and it wastes so much time just looking you know trying to find passwords um, this is one of the best productivity apps because it saves you the mental energy of trying to recall every single password you've ever created that's impossible now because you know they constantly make you redo them uh, you can store many things with one passwords logins you know website logins credit cards bank info passports licenses all that stuff okay uh, you can try out one password uh, free for 30 days if you want um, but you can also get the paid version, which is $3.99 a month. And guess what? The paid version is a whole lot better. So you probably should do that. Number seven is just press record. I bet you know what it's about already, don't you? Let's go there and take a look at it real quick. Okay. Just press record is a versatile one tap recording app for iPhone. You can use for iPad, even your Apple watch. It also adds some useful features like built-in transcription, uh, easy note-taking, uh, you can record from a long press on the app icon uh, from a lock screen or notification widget there's also an apple watch complication for just record uh, if you don't have an apple watch you have no idea what a complication is but it's just one of the little icons on your watch the app can transcribe speech and support for a number of languages and spoken punctuation commands recordings are sorted by date and time and can be manually renamed the transcription also allows you to search through recordings for specific terms recordings and transcriptions sync to iCloud and you can share them to a variety of apps we're trucking along now we're to we're, we're to number eight already number eight's a cool one number eight is auto voice meeting notes let's check it out right now it's pretty cool uh, this is another option for device assisted voice note taking um, it's a smart transcription app uh, it can record your phone's internal microphone or through a Bluetooth device which is really cool then it automatically transcribes your work in nearly real time complete with punctuation speaker ID and searchable playback in your recordings uh, users can edit transcripts to fix any errors uh, and transcripts can be exported to text or other apps or shared with a group or through public view links there is a free plan for otter voice meeting notes but the paid version is of course a lot better uh, and it's actually 9.99 a month it's a little on the high side but it's a great app you may want to check that out number nine is memento and if you want to improve the looks of your apps this is the way to go let's check this out real quick okay so here is memento um, it offers a choice between a traditional vertical view of upcoming to do's and a more visually pleasing grid look uh, the app also appears as a widget on the today screen on your ios device and a for you tab helpfully provides an at a glance look at your most important reminders memento share extension even lets you create 
reminders from other apps and since memento syncs with other built-in ios reminders apps all your existing to do's easily transfer over to the new app and you're just gonna love it you gotta check it out now we're down to number 10 the last one on the list did you think we'd ever get there we got there here it is the last one is called close let's check this one out now this one is probably the most expensive one there is but it keeps track of your businesses and professional contacts and can be you know really difficult to do in separating those two this app syncs details about your contacts from social networks and email so that your information and profiles are always up to date close also functions as a one-stop social networking command center allowing you to tweet update your status likes or shares links all that stuff additionally close uses your interactions and messages to identify key people and automatically surfaces tweets status messages and other related updates from them so there you have it my top 10 picks now one thing i'll tell you is i have a lot of apps on my phone but try to keep them organized try to maybe build some folders like i have a folder that is you know food related i have a folder that's travel related i have a folder that's social media related that way i can actually go into those folders and find the things i want and i don't have to scroll through you know 25 different screens though i still think i have like 10 or 12 screens i still have a lot even with folders but folders will help you so that's my bonus for this video create some folders put like apps into a folder and remember where you put them too because that can be an issue i've had that before i hope you enjoyed this video uh, put your comments below if you have questions about this or anything having to do with starting running and growing your business online please put them in the comments below um, if you have had experience with other apps i'm still looking for them maybe you've got a cool app you want to tell me about i want to hear about it put it in that comment section below thank you so much for watching this video as a bonus i have a course below it's a 97 dollars course but guess what you can get it for free all you gotta do is click the link no credit card required and you can start learning so check that out in the description below thanks so much for watching this video i really appreciate it don't forget to subscribe if that button down there is still red shame on you you should have clicked it and turned it gray that subscribe button yeah right there see it yeah click that and then turn on all bell notifications a bell is going to pop up next to it and you want to click the part that says all notifications okay that way you're notified every single time i upload a video or i go live okay don't forget to do that give me a thumbs up if you like this video i really appreciate it appreciate you watching and i'll see you in the next video hey thanks for watching my video don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click that little bell right there so you can be notified every time i do a new video also click on one of those videos there keep watching on my channel